Hi everyone, my name is John Paul. Welcome to Fat Loss Cooking Channel. For today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a low-fat longanisa. What is longanisa? Longanisa is basically a Filipino version of sausage. So why make it low-fat? Well, the original recipe for longanisa is really high in fat. And one of the reasons how people get fat is we tend to underestimate the total calories that we eat. So let's say a typical serving of the conventional longanisa is let's say three links. And in that three links, um, you're looking at around maybe 200 or 300 calories with very minimal amount of protein. So in this recipe, I'm going to modify it so I can boost the protein content while minimizing the fat. Now the conventional recipe for longanisa is made of pork but in this recipe we are going to use 8 ounces of ground turkey. As far as the leanness is concerned I am using 93% lean and 7% fat. See I already pre-marinated the ground meat in the refrigerator overnight so all the ingredients are were all mixed inside the Ziploc bag. As far as the ingredients for the marinade, you need two tablespoons of soy sauce, you need two tablespoons of white vinegar, you also need one packet of nutritive sweetener, you also need half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and if you are wondering why the meat is red, um, the reason why it's red is not because of food coloring. I am using one tablespoon of banana ketchup or banana sauce. Now if you are wondering what the hell is banana sauce is, you can find this from um, Asian supermarket. This is basically like the Asian version of tomato ketchup but it's made of bananas. If you are wondering what it tastes like, it actually tastes a lot better than it sounds. But if you don't have any access to a banana sauce, simply use the regular tomato ketchup. And I almost forgot to include that you also need to add 3 cloves of finely chopped garlic in the marinade. Now since um, my recommended portion is about 8 ounces per serving, I wanted to make about 4 links out of this um, um, ground turkey. So basically just weigh all the ingredients on a scale and divide it by four. So we get ten and a half ounces and we are going to portion um, the ground meat into four so that's about 2.5 ounces. Now since um, we are going to make four sausage links out of this recipe and we are not going to use any casing so basically just form the um, sausage links like this using the 2.5 ounces weight to make four, um, four sausage links. You, you may use to make two so big sausage links but um, the reason why I want to make it small like this is to shorten the cooking time. And also since Fat Loss Cooking Channel highly supports convenient recipes, if you wanted to make some Filipino sausage ahead of time, simply grab about 4x4 four four piece of wax paper or a parchment paper and place the sausage links like that and roll it so it will stay in its form. For the cooking part, we are going to, to pan fry it using 1 teaspoon of peanut oil or rapeseed oil or simply use a cooking spray and preheat the frying pan at medium high heat for about 5 minutes. The other reason why I highly suggest weighing the meat into 4 equal portions is so that the, the sausage will have a uniform in size. Now make sure to cook each side of the sausage thoroughly for about 6 minutes each side. Now after about 12 minutes of pan frying it. We now have our low-fat longanisa. Filipinos typically 
eat it with um, garlic fried rice, with fried eggs, and a spicy vinegar as a dipping sauce. You may also eat it with some tomatoes on the side. Now, after doing some math, um, the total calorie content of our low-fat longanisa came up to 418 calories with 46 grams of protein, 21 grams of fat, and 4 grams of carbohydrates. Now, the calorie content might sound high, but you're also getting a lot more meat compared to the conventional um, leading brand of um, pork longanisa. I just check fat secret as a matter of fact and using the four links of the conventional pork longanisa and it came up to 340 calories with only 16 grams of protein, 26 grams of fat, and 10 grams of carbohydrates. So I mean if we compare the macronutrient content of my recipe versus the traditional pork longanisa, you're getting a lot more for your buck. Now, if you are enjoying my cooking channel, please subscribe, share my channel, leave me some feedbacks or suggestions for some future recipes that you wanted me to cook for you. Again, my name is John Paul. I will see you in the next episode of Fat Loss Cooking Channel.